police officers all around your house. Who are you that's gonna get into position? Can you some cover here, Dunny? Smoke the door. We got a fire. This will be our next customer right here. Please, please. They decide to hurt themselves. Well, I want to see a search one. You're not going to, because there isn't one. Why are you stopping? I mean, you drove up to it. You crashed. Right now, you're under arrest for being an idiot, OK? Mind, we don't need to be on the news. The most people that we're dealing with tonight are like yourself. You're very pro police. This program contains actual police footage. No reporters, no recreations. A man with a knife, uh, supposed to be a fight in the 2500 block at Kingsway. Don't have much more on it at this point. This kind of calls you approach with great caution, because you don't know how many people are there, who has what is weapons, and you always want as much cover as you can get. Put your hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. I went to my house. This one guy is coming to my house. Oh, man. Uh, so far, it looks like there's parties involved in some sort of a fight. There's supposedly some weapons. There's weapons involved in this. Hey, I have some information from John Rose. There's a purple Mustang over there. Watch that dude. Just lay right down. Get down on your stomach. Get over on your stomach. Get over on your stomach. That's not your stomach. That means you can call a lawyer if you want. You can't afford a lawyer. A legal aid lawyer will be provided for you free of charge. You don't know how to contact a legal aid lawyer? As we arrived on scene, uh, the two males in handcuffs taken into custody. They were uh, assaulting one another in a fight to fight. Uh, took three PCs to pull them apart and uh, handcuffed. We're just right now determining what's going on. Uh, we don't know who's doing what to who or who's the instigator, so we're just trying to determine what, if any, charges will be taken. So far, we haven't been able to find any weapons. Uh, we, the reporter who phoned this in said there was supposed to be some sort of a weapon, but we haven't been able to locate any. Whose is this? He's lying on the car in front of the car. Is this yours? Yeah, well, I probably got it. Maybe my brother. Which one's your brother? Which one? Leave him this vehicle uh, was involved in somehow in this fight that in occurred in the parking lot. Right now we're just doing a bit of a search on it. What do you got in there, Ted? Uh -oh. It looks like I have another little bag full. It's a bag of... Uh, There's another bag of cocaine in here. Yeah, these usually they wrap it in like the green uh, garbage bags. Thanks, Bill. Find that quite common where they use the green garbage bag. Whereabouts did you find that? Right down beside the seat, right in the back. Right in the back. Right under here. Right inside. Yeah. The handgun. Where is it? It was underneath the car. Which car? Which car? The one that will stop you. They threw it under the car. 
Constable Lynn still on the air? Or what was he heading in? Yeah, we're just evening watch for Prince. Yep. What's happened here is uh, a car has been moved, and underneath the car we found a gun. Yeah, clip right here, did you want? It looks like some sort of a 22 automatic. Uh, the five Delta unit with Constable Anza. We were told by the complainant or a reportee that the fight had ensued and they, at a party, was seen to go into the trunk of this purple vehicle here and appeared to get some sort of a weapon and then put it in the back waistband of his pant. And uh, subsequent to that, we found this gun here. When you come to a call like this and you get a report of some sort of incident going on, usually you arrive on scene and everything is just a mass of confusion. That's why you have to take control of the situation and take those parties into custody that need to be so you can do your investigating and find out what has gone on and if any evidence can be found because usually right at the first scene, everything is so confused, it's hard to say what's happening. Uh, it looks like we found another pistol underneath another vehicle stopped here. Where was that one? Right under the front tire of this vehicle. Is that a... No, you know whose car this is? That's, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's, that's a little guy's car. Yes. Where'd they go? That's a nine, maybe. That's Can empty. I stand clear? Oh. Yeah. Empty. Dean, 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 found another gun. Once again, it just shows, goes to show you how you have to look around. Another gun has been found underneath another vehicle involved in this incident. It came to us originally over there. Looks like a nine millimeter semi-automatic. Are those two gonna be charged with anything? Uh, one's charged with PPT cocaine, and the other guy's arrested for a Section 31 breach. The gun was found on the ground where you can't at this point tie anybody to having possession of it. So what we're going to do is try and get some prints off of it. Uh, we'll have to wait and see if any prints come out of it before we can say whose it is, who might have had it, or what it might have been used for. Here's uh, These are the two... Uh, bags of uh, supposed uh, cocaine that was found inside the vehicle. That's how they usually wrap them to keep them together for easy distribution. Here's some money that was found inside of uh, one of the pockets of one of the fellows that was taken away to the jail, the, uh, the registered owner of this purple vehicle. Yeah, it looks like they've been up to something tonight, probably selling the cocaine and uh, they just take a little rest break to go to the nightclub. We're probably going to go off someplace else to sell some more cocaine. But unfortunately, this altercation sort of threw a hammer into their plans of the evening. Progress. Our burglary members have them under surveillance. They're leaving right now in a stolen vehicle. Just uh, approaching the area now. Okay, it looks like they've left the scene. They're still under surveillance. And, uh, they're just southbound on Scott Road. I'm not sure if they want okay, Stu, I'm with you. I got the back door. If they want these people arrested hey, right now. Or if they're gonna try and keep watching them. They've uh, parked right now just down the road and they're being watched. Okay, Stu, uh, I don't got them here, so if you got them, let me know. And if we can have the GD car sit back off here for a second. 
These guys are on foot now, uh, heading away from the area where they uh, dropped their vehicle. Come up to the English fish and I don't know if possibly they uh, might have... Wait a minute, Sean, the wheels are right behind that thing. Might have spotted us uh, okay, where you doing surveillance up? or not, but they're uh, yeah, we're gonna confirm, make sure that they're leaving the area where the car was. And uh, we have a couple of members out on foot following them right now. Hey boys, they're doubling back. Okay. 121, they're northbound. On uh, 121, I believe. They're walking Not right where we were just sitting a minute ago. They're heading back now towards the, uh, the vehicle that they had dropped off earlier. Just so you know, Sean, I got way out of there. Yeah, I see that. Same with the military car, I'm getting out of here. You want them taken down? Oh, just pull on that. There's lots of underground parking. You guys can uh, park those marked units underneath here on the Delta side. Sean, can you update? Yeah, they're working on an eye lock. Can I get into it? Location? 92, 121 at the end of the cul-de-sac north on 121. Okay, if you guys can see him and you can do him, let's do him. Okay, Delta Pro will block the front. Is that thing facing south? Let's do him, block him, block him. Let's go! Come on. Who was it that called uh, that being Ian? Just the a neighbor? Or? Inside. They were inside. Yeah. They oh, yeah? Just Upstairs. before you hear the, the smash, it's ah! you hear people <laughs> screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't think we've got a problem we'll yet. Generate. From looking at the um, tools and damage inside the vehicle, obviously they were trying to steal it. As soon as uh, they saw us, they uh, sort of got into a panic, locked the doors, and continued trying to get out of there. 
In a situation like that, we want to take them down as uh, hard and quickly as possible to try and prevent them from getting away and starting a high-speed chase in a vehicle like that. High-performance car, it uh, would have been a long chase, hard to catch them if we could have, and a good chance of someone getting uh, hurt or killed. And uh, dealing with it the way we did, it stops anyone from getting away and uh, gets things taken care of right now. They've been taken down to our office in Surrey. They'll be uh, booked in cells and uh, held for court in the morning. And depending on what the record is and what sort of history we provide on them, they may or may not be held in custody. Right now we're just heading over to the uh, other vehicle that was involved, I believe it was a blue uh, Jeep Cherokee. It apparently also was stolen and is full of stolen property. Uh, one of the members is going to make sure that uh, all the property is secured, the vehicle is fingerprinted, and then we'll head down to the scene of one of the uh, two B&Es that they attempted to do. That's why they dumped it. They got a flat tire. And uh, the ignition's not much, but the steering the other column, column on the, on the other side. Yeah, that's how they were stealing the first one, or the uh, second one. Where's all the stolen stuff? Right here. The back is, uh, is it covering? You can see the stuff there. Insane. Our uh, bur burglary section members have been following these uh, two suspects all day, again, knowing that they were actively involved in break and enters. And uh, as they were following them in the blue Cherokee, they saw them uh, attend the store here and back into the, uh, the doors. Apparently, uh, or obviously in an effort to uh, do a B&E here. Fortunately, the owners were upstairs uh, asleep, heard this, came running down, and uh, scared the suspects away. They uh, subsequently, subsequently sped off, uh, went over the curb, which uh, ultimately resulted in the flat tire on the, uh, on the Jeep, and that's why they abandoned it. Rather than uh, get into a high-speed chase, our burglary members uh, decided to follow them, and. Um, hopefully prevent anyone from getting hurt. And uh, once they abandoned the Jeep, we were able to uh, take them down as they were trying to steal another car. We've had a report uh, from a neighbors of a male beating up on a female at uh, Victorian 53rd, so we're gonna head down to the area and see what's up. There's uh, two reports now. One has it on Beecher Street, the other has it on uh, Victoria, which is just one block to the east. This guy hitting her? Choking. He was choking her. Choking the women. Okay. That's what I say. You want to fight? This guy, this guy right here. Okay. You just stay right there then. I'll be right with you. Don't lose them because they're good witnesses for this. He was, he had her down on the ground and he was choking her. Yeah. So. I know. That's okay. You're under arrest, sir, for assault. Okay. Put your hands behind your back, please. I know. I know. Put your hands behind your back, sir, please. You're under arrest for assault. No, I know. I don't have long. Okay. Okay. That's okay. Okay. You're, no, turn around. Put your hands behind your back. That's it. Right there. Good man. Billy, do you want to try charter him? See if he knows Kenny's. No, sir. Turn around. Five echo two one. Where's the suspect in this? Have you got him as well? Yeah, I speak English. Ten four. Kilo seven four. Do you speak Cantonese or Mandarin? I, I, did, I did this. I did. Do you speak Cantonese? Huh? Cantonese. I speak English. Oh, you speak English? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mobile eyes. I speak Chinese. Okay. I speak. I don't know. How English? Okay, though. I don't know. I don't know. No English. No. Okay. The people here have said that you've assaulted this lady, your wife or your girlfriend or whoever. Okay. So you're being arrested for that, and you're going to go to jail. Okay. You have the right to retain and instruct counsel without delay. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, no, okay, no. we'll get somebody to translate it for you in a bit, but you got to, you got to, you got you got to come with this because you're going to go to jail, okay? I've got, um, I've got yeah, a uh, this, this, this uh, idea. We arrived on uh, scene here to report to several of the neighbors calling in that, uh, I speak English. Okay, I, I speak that Chinese. this, um, male was, uh, Chinese. beating up on the female. When we, uh, talked to the witnesses a little bit, uh, clearer, it turns out that he had her down on the ground. His hands uh, were around her neck, and he was trying to choke her at one point. And then uh, he was trying to drag her into his car, which is just parked on the street here. 
So whether they live here or they were just driving down the street and uh, had an argument and she tried to run from the car and he tried to bring her back, we'll just try and discern that. This fellow here uh, doesn't speak any English at all, so I've advised him under arrest and he's handcuffed, so I think he understands that much. And we'll get someone to translate a little bit to advise him of his rights and exactly why he's going down the jail. I think he pretty well has figured it out, though. Okay, so you came outside, right? No. Okay, and then would you look down the street? Yeah, I'm looking at And what did you see? The woman's in the floor and this guy on, on, the, on, on the ground? And what was he doing? Trying to choke her. No, I know. You gotta be quiet, okay, for me? Estaba poniendo la inside, try to put it inside the car. No, I know that. What else did you see? He was, he was on the ground, okay, and then what did he do? Did he pick her up? Was he like dry? Was she fighting back? Yeah. She doesn't know. Yeah, down on the ground, he's choking her, and then he's pulling her towards the car. So you've got, you've got an assault. Which car? The red one? Okay. Okay, and she was screaming. Well, you speak English because you understood what the lady was saying when she was saying that you were choking your girlfriend. You understood that good enough. I speak Chinese. Yeah, I know you do. Yeah, Chinese. Okay. I know problem. My wife, my wife, problem. Yeah. Uh, my wife, yeah, he, my wife, my wife, problem. Uh, work? Do you work? Do you have a job? Work. Yeah. Job? I, I work. I. Uh, UIC. UIC right now? Yeah. Okay. How, are you, how long have you been in Canada? Lived in Canada? Can, uh, from Canada. Yeah, where were you born? Were you born in Canada? Yeah, I'm from Canada. Yeah, I'm from Canada. Where were you born? Uh, where were you born? Uh, Canada. 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 Yeah, how long? Yeah, how long? Uh, about one year. Just one year? No, no one year. Uh, eight, eight months. Eight months? Eight, eight months you've been in Canada? Eight months. Where did you come from? Where were you? China? Yeah, Taiwan? China. China? China? Uh, from China. Okay. I know problem. Okay, well, anytime, no problem. anytime someone's arrested, we keep them on automatically, okay? We don't, I don't have a choice in the matter, okay? I, I have to keep them on. When, when we have an allegation that someone's beating their wife, they get handcuffed. That's just the way it is. You're not allowed to hit your wife in Canada, okay? Nice. Okay. Nice That's okay. We'll, we'll translate it for you in yeah. a little bit. No problem. Okay. She was screaming very loud, so loud I thought he was trying to kill her. She was screaming, no, no. He was shaking her very violently. Uh, I came out yelling at him to leave her alone. He was yelling at me in a foreign language. Then their family came out down the road. They did not help the woman at all. She was extremely hysterical. With the rest of the family talking to the male in Chinese, the man left her alone. She was sitting on the ground holding her neck and shoulders, and the police then showed up. So he's got her on the ground by yeah. the neck. Yeah, she's basically. There's a little bit more to this thing than the CI. Well, it's a typical thing. She's she's gonna try and protect her husband and stuff like that. Even though it's, it's sooner or later she's gonna realize she can't put up with all the abuse, which is typical in a lot of situations. And it's tough in a situation here because yeah. no, she's from another country. Yeah, no, there's there's something a little bit more to this. Because you still got, you got the independent witnesses, so that's fine. So you got her here. Yeah. She's really, really good. Sure. Uh, oh, good. Um, Excellent. Can you just... Why don't I take her home and I want to have a chat with her? Okay. Okay. Can you just tell him, can you just tell him before you go that he's... No. Yeah, just, just tell him he's under arrest. Yeah, and he, he can, yeah, 10 and 10 be. Just to cover it. Okay. 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 For some reason, uh, she's protecting him, um, but we've got independent witnesses that an assault has occurred, and uh, that's why that fellow's been arrested, and he'll spend tonight in jail, and uh, he'll go before a judge tomorrow morning, and uh, we'll see what happens from there. We're heading to an address on Rosewood. Uh, it's a complaint. It sounds like it's between... Uh, Tenants in an upstairs uh, suite uh, complaining about tenants in a downstairs suite. Supposedly one of the tenants came home real drunk and he's uh, broken a window and cut himself and then threatened the tenant downstairs uh, saying that he was going to cut him up with a hatchet and 
cut them in half. So we're going to go and find out what, uh, exactly what's going on. Where is it really? Well, I understand there's a knife here. Where's the knife? A knife? I'm not even joking. Yeah, that's why I'm here. I'm joking. Hey, I want for a bat uh, in my chest. And his fucking spitting the knife. Who's downstairs? Oh. My, my Obviously, we've been woken up enough in the mornings with him about stolen vehicles for this place Did you downstairs. Call us? No. 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 Where is he now? It's a guy downstairs. Uh, uh, my tenant downstairs. downstairs. How do we access yeah. that place? Around the side. Very back yeah. in the house. Yeah. Officer. Well, who's right. who's injured? Right. Do we know yet? No. at the back here. Got him at the back here. At the back here. What's going on here? Uh, that stairs was blaring his guitar and it was like 11 o'clock at night and so I yelled upstairs, you want to turn it down? I'm trying to sleep down here and he turned it up even louder so I just banged on the walls and he came down here and he started pounding on the door and ringing the doorbells. So I was, it's my room right there, so I went and I opened up the blinds and I opened the window and I go, what do you want? And he goes, I want to come, I want you to come out here so I can kill you, you little effing this and that. Which and guy was that? The guy with the ponytail and the beard? Uh, no, yeah, I think he's got a ponytail. dude, gray hair, Dwayne is his name. Okay. Um, then he, Opened up my window, he grabbed my window and he started trying to kick me in the face through the window. This window right here? This window right there. And then he tried, like, he came out and he was telling me to come outside because he was trying to pound my head in and he's threatening to get all his buddies down here and this and that. He's been threatening to kill me for a long time now and I just ignored him. But he's, he grabbed the window and he slammed it. He grabbed it and physically slammed it down and my girlfriend was lying down in there and it just, the glass just came over her. She had to. She had the blankets over her face, otherwise it probably would have sliced her up really bad. And that was no way and I got my arm sliced up here. Kind of ripped it open there a bit. So I'm just not too uh not Probably too nobody in the front room knows what's going on, eh, Bill? I'm gonna we're gonna go upstairs and ask some questions. Yeah, okay. All right. So he was closing the window then? He wasn't it, well <laughs> probably not, but he uh he threw it closed it with enough force to Break the window. There we go. Okay, who's Dwayne? You, okay. Dwayne, I don't think you're telling me the whole truth. What happened between you and the guy downstairs? The window. I went to grab it. Okay. So I'm a body man by trade, but yeah. 20 some odd years. Okay, so you hit the window, why? Well, because, the no, why did you? I went to grab it like this. Why? Well, because he, he threw it open, he goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of goes, hey, so you went to push it closed? Yeah. All and right. It just went, it just hit my hand like this, and it went, Ksh. All right. You know what I mean? It yeah. broke. My did you threaten didn't... him when you went down? Were you no. threatening him when you were banging at the window? I don't threaten anybody. Well, he's saying you were. Were you or weren't you? If I did, okay. I didn't. Okay. Anybody else with you when you went back there? No, I went down there by myself. You went down there by yourself? I got guests here, sir. Yeah, okay. Did you get some identification on you? Yeah, I do. Apparently of a flat that Trump said he had that it was reported stolen. This is the second time now that a police have been here about I want to know the officer who was here before when all the stolen vehicles. So it's like, oh, you know. So you guys have had problems with the people downstairs, and they've I've had problems the with you for a long time. I want them out of here. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah. All I'm, uh, all I'm asking here. Yeah. Okay. Well, and that comes down from to his word against there. your word. That's right. All I'm telling you is that if myself. if there's going to be these troubles, then your best way of dealing with this type of stuff is to call us when when it happens. 
not not to not to approach him okay and try to deal with by yourself and I did grab the yeah window. well you've already admitted grabbing the window and the window breaking okay I grabbed it because I know yeah. how, to, how to do things the right yeah. way are you guys both renting Who's, I, who's I rent house? the whole house. This, you rent the whole house? I sublet the basement. Yeah. So they're your tenants? Yeah. That's right. And he's evicted. I'm, he's out of here on the 15th of this month. Uh, I'm going to the arbitration. He owes me rent. He owes me hydro. Yeah. He's yeah. abused the yeah. But that's also, let's, like he said, that's I'm also an illegal That's also an illegal suite, Dwayne. So if we want to get into who's pulling what here, okay. you know, don't have any right to have that suite in there, right? Okay. We all know that. I've never had a problem before. Until yeah, I well, in. you're, you're going to have a problem in the municipality if you continue to have people living down there, renting from you. You have no right to rent that place. Good thing you don't own the house, Tony. Well, Revenue Canada yeah, doesn't know, want right? to know about this, Dwayne. Exactly. So I think your best bet when you have troubles, hey, huh? Dwayne, Four times in a row. Dwayne, listen. Spotlight cameras. When you have trouble with them downstairs, that you do not, well, I mean. Ignore them. Yeah. Oh, wait, it, it, so common them. common sense. Listen, common sense is going to prevail. You, if you if you think there's going to be further troubles, then you call the police oh, and no they'll trouble. come and talk. I'll call you guys. No yeah. problem. All right. Well, but I don't want you. Carrie Scry. Carrie. Yeah, Dwayne. Well, uh, we attended, and sure enough, the window was broken. Uh, it seems to be more a noise complaint. The tenant downstairs is upset that the tenant upstairs is playing his music too loud, and it's 11 o'clock. He went downstairs to uh, to face the the tenant, and uh, they had a verbal argument. Uh, the guy downstairs says he was threatened, and the guy upstairs says he didn't threaten him. So nobody will ever know there. Just had a, a complaint of a drunk outside the uh, McDonald's on King George Highway. It's uh, probably Surrey's best known drunk. All the staff at McDonald's are known by uh, on a first name basis. That's where he usually goes to crash. And uh, last year, I think we arrested him for the hundredth time by uh, October. So uh, we have his cell ready for him at the office and we'll go grab him and take him back. How you doing, Bruce? No, not too bad. No? Too bad. I just want to go home. When, when did you last get out of jail? Huh? When did you last get out of jail? A couple hours ago. Yeah? You been drinking since? No. You said you were still drunk. No. I just want to go home. I was sleeping. Did you have to drink? Aqua Valve. Aqua Valve. I'm not going to lie. Okay, how many bottles of Aqua Valve did you have? That's enough? Yeah. That's enough? Just one? Where'd you get it? Drugstore. Drugstore? Okay. Which drugstore did you buy it at? None. None drugs right here? I don't know. Did you just drink it? Right now? No. no. Uh, I drank it about three hours ago. Three hours ago. Okay. I just want to go home. You want to go home? Well, I got to go home. You can barely stand up there. You're staggering all over the place. I had to uh, practically uh, grab you by the arm there to keep you uh, over yeah, here standing up. That's because I have an eight. You have what? I have an eight. You have an eight? No. Well, you were in McDonald's here. Weren't you eating? I had a hamburger. Really. Hamburger. Yeah. OK, I see. Well. Book him in. Right. Come on, Bruce. I'm gonna hop in the other car over there. This this car is Quite not risky. good enough. Come on. Hey, jump in, Bruce. You, you can sing to us in the car, Bruce. Sing this one in the car, on the way back. Okay. What's your head? You got anything in your pockets? Oh, no. Any knives there? No, come Nothing on. Hurt you or oh, your, uh, come on. Yeah, yeah okay. get off, Okay, man. get on. Get in. Can you drive me home? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Watch yourself. You OK? Yeah. You're in? Yeah. OK. Watch your face. Don't you want to go to jail today? No. How come? I want to go home. Usually you want to go to jail with us. 
Where do I go? Kill. Why not? I don't like it. Go back in the bucket. What the? Wait, sorry, can you switch back to noise, please? We'll go back to the fucking bucket. Bucket. 21-5, go. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas just like a one I used to know where the tree that tops the sun and children the sun to hear the sleigh bells in the sun. Do you want to hear some more? What other songs do you know? Uh, okay, okay, that, 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 uh... Hey, you sing a song. I'll, I'll sing it for you, first of all. Hi-ho, hi-ho, it's off to jail we go. <laughs> okay, your turn. Uh, hi-ho, hi-ho, it's off to jail we go. <laughs> Why did you just drive me home? Because you're drunk, you're going to get hurt. What? I can't get home. Hurt in jail. That's right, you can't get hurt in jail. That's I'm why we're... home. You know, this is crazy. I got $275,000 in jail, and I got a brand new home. And I get picked up. And I'm going to jail. You have how much money? Two to save my thousand. Get a get a brand new home. Get a, I'm going to jail. This is crazy. How did you come up with two hundred seventy-five thousand? Pardon? Aaron. From who? My mom died. I sold the home. What are you doing with all the money? Nothing. You drinking it all? I don't need it. Got it on the file. Hi-ho! Hi-ho! Off to jail we go. Here we go, see less. The great, big, tall <laughs> bastard. Why did they get so tall? I'm hungry. Yabba-dabba-doo! Yabba-dabba-doo! Good stones. At least you're always a happy drunk, Bruce. Yeah. Yabba-dabba-doo! There I go. Over 28, uh, you'll have to walk him in. <laughs> <Four>. <laughs> OK, Bruce, let's go. humorous at times. It's kind of a, uh, a sad situation with him. He uh, apparently, as he was saying there, does have a substantial amount of money they receive from inheritance, but uh, he has a really bad alcohol problem. When we were booking him in there, I checked the, uh, the files from last year, and we booked him in for drunk 116 times in 1990. And this year, we're up to about 37, I think it was. And uh, he's a very likable guy, and it's just too bad that he's uh, 
gotten himself into the state that he is. He, uh, you know, we've had times, uh, one Christmas one of our members uh, took him for dinner at McDonald's before taking him to jail. And uh, that sort of thing, he just doesn't really seem to have uh, anyone in his life to uh, look after him or watch out for his best interests. And uh, as a result, we end up uh, dealing with him all the time. We're just pulling up to the uh, street here where an off-duty uh, Vancouver City police officer saw Phil breaking into a couple of vehicles. The dogs arrived at the scene and we're just going to uh, head out, see if we can get anything on track. There was a van there that uh, was broken into, the door side doors open. It looks like uh, they probably tried breaking into this uh, car here first, the driver's side door is open. And this van here looks like probably went in through the driver's door and uh, went around and opened up the side door as well. Looks like the uh, dog has a track basically going right from the uh, scene of the attempted theft. And uh, we have a description of the fellow, it's supposed to be uh, wearing a blue jean jacket and a black baseball cap. So uh, if he's in the area, we should uh, have a good chance of finding him. It's a really, uh, really fresh track here. Looks like it must be pretty close now, the dog's uh, running and uh, showing a lot of interest now. Good chance we'll find him very shortly. Get out of here now! Get out! Come out of the bushes now! Now, stand up! What? Back up towards these flashlights! Towards these lights, now! Towards the light! Okay, please tell him to stop! Towards the light! Please, please, I don't want to get hit! I'm trying to back up the stick! Come through here. He's fighting my leg. I'm right here. Please, right here. Here's my hat. Here's my hat. Stop him, please. He's fighting my leg. Please. Come here. Ow, he's Walk out. The back of my leg. Walk please. out. I'm here. I can't get through. Grab his hair. He's ripping me. Please, he's ripping my leg. Please. Stop him, I'm coming with my hands. Then what? I'm coming, I, I'm stuck, he's got my leg. Oh, I can't move, that. please call him off. Please, 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 please. 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 You're letting him rip me up. Okay, you walk no. back here, keep your I am, I am, please get him off me. I am, I can't get through the post. I can't. Coming. Good work. Please, please. Please, Stand please. Up. Okay, I will, please. Please. Stand up. Okay. Okay. Tom, Dwayne's got it. He'll toss it to you. Okay. Stay. Got him? Okay. Is there a clear way through there? Not too bad. Not bad. Here. My leg's bleeding. Well, that's Send him up this bad. way and I'll grab him. Well, we'll just walk him right through where we came for the okay. hole here. Walk <laughs> An off-duty Vancouver City police officer reported that he was watching a fellow break into some cars. Just as the uh, police cars were arriving on the scene, the fellow took off running on foot. So we had one of our dogmen come out. He tracked him for quite a distance through a number of yards and eventually into a, a bush area just to the east of the school here and uh, found the fellow hiding in the bushes there. A 
some bird work. <laughs> you said you've been having a good month. That's it. Hey. Actually, you got the track game coming right across the school. Winded him there. Uh -huh. through the fence and he just... Police dog here is Tag, and uh, really it's pretty tough for these guys to try getting away uh, when there's a police dog on the trail. That's part of the uh, bad guy's pants. I guess it's uh, Tag's prize for the night.